What's going on guys? I am back. Today I wanted to talk about one thing that I noticed that was not in the patch at all. There was no trophies or achievements whatsoever, which usually happens I think because when you have paid DLC then you could add trophies or achievements uh, to your game for the Xbox or PlayStation. I'm not sure how Steam works exactly, but of course this was not a paid DLC so they couldn't add trophies, but I figured hey, w why not make up some trophies for you guys and uh, let me know what you think of the trophies uh, that I made up. And uh, uh, let me know what other trophy ideas you would like to see from Rumble. Of course, this probably won't happen. But it's always fun to uh, talk about what type of achievements or trophies would be in the game. So we'll start it off with Magnetizer and the Boot. Now, I did it in the Bronze, Silver, Gold way for each power-up. Just to show like what maybe could have been for trophies for uh, the Rumble update. So first we start with the Magnetizer. First one I called Mine, Bronze Trophy. Keep the ball attached to your Magnetizer throughout the full activation. Now this isn't that difficult. Uh, so that's why I just put it on Bronze and I just threw 10 times in there. Uh, it was hard to think of good ones for Magnetizer that could be tracked. Um, so I didn't know exactly what to put in the Bronze level for this, but that's what I threw in there. And then I put Lava. Don't let the ball touch the ground during a full activation of Magnetizer 10 times. Now, this one's also pretty easy if you go up on the walls. Uh, like, if there was a way to maybe say, like, don't touch any wall whatsoever, just have the ball float for the entire activation, which would be really difficult to do. But then it would be only, like, one time. Uh... But I thought, eh, it would probably be better if it was just like, just don't touch the ball like on the ground. And it would also show players that Magnetizer works really, really well on the walls. And that's where you should probably be using it a ton. Uh, so that would at least let people know, like, hey, how do I get it so the ball doesn't touch the ground? Oh, let's go up on the walls. And that's actually where the Magnetizer is really, really strong is when you bring it up along the wall with your car. And then, of course, the gold trophy, become the pole. Score 100 goals with Magnetizer. Again, I couldn't think of a ton for Magnetizer, uh, so I just threw that one in there. You could probably put that even higher, because Magnetizer steals all the goals. Because if you have Magnetizer on at all, when the ball goes in, then you automatically get credit for the goal, um, as long as there's a magnet attached to it. Like, as long as you're within the range. Uh, you will steal goals from your teammates like crazy with this power-up. And that's always fun, because that's what you should be trying to do, no matter what, is stealing goals from your teammates in Rumble. Next up, we have the boot. Uh, so this one, uh, obviously, it's all about knocking opponents away. So these trophies are basically all about that. So no save for you. Score 10 goals immediately after giving someone the boot. It'll probably be like about a one-second uh, interview, maybe two seconds, where you try and boot out the goalie while you're taking the shot. And uh, that's how you'd get the bronze trophy. Then on the other side, no goal for you. There's a lot of these that are booting away spikers or doing stuff to spikers because everyone hates spikers. So I figured a lot of trophies would relate to that because I'm not sure how else you would relate it. So uh, this one is boot away 10 spikers that have the ball attached to them. Again, not sure if that would be, be trackable, but it would make a lot of sense because that's one of the big counters to spikes is to boot them away. And then, of course, the goal... Uh, the gold trophy is goal for me. Force an own goal from your opponent's spiker with the boot. So when the ball is attached to a spiker, if you boot him into his own net and get the own goal, that would be a really cool moment while playing Rumble. So I figured a, a gold trophy would work for that. Of course, when uh, there is trophies and stuff like that um, available for even DLC, uh, you're not allowed to have that many goals or whatever. But, you know, this is all for fun anyway. Next up, we got the Haymaker uh, Defense. Get 25 saves with the Haymaker. Now, this uh, you don't see a lot from because usually Haymaker is an offensive tool, but it is a really good defensive tool as well to uh, get that ball just outside your net at the last possible second with Haymaker when you can't reach it on your own. Then I got Float Like a Butterfly. Score 25 aerial haymaker goals. This one probably could have been gold um, like as well, or maybe only 10 uh, aerial goals because that's pretty tough but with haymaker it makes it a little bit easier because all you have to do is fly up and then get a good angle on it and then uh smack it in it's not as hard as a normal uh, aerial even it's just you have to get the haymaker power up a ton for this one to work and then the last one sting like a bee score a haymaker goal that is over 150 miles per hour so haymaker one really good use for it is when you power hit it and then immediately right after you use the haymaker and it gets a ton of power behind the shot. You could probably hit about two, uh, 200 miles per hour, I believe. Um, 
that's a really good way to get a really powerful shot. It's kind of like a power hitter, but it's a one-time use if you want to use it that way. Uh, so that's a good tip for you guys with Haymaker. If you want to get one of those really strong clears that might uh, ricochet in, then definitely hit the ball then right after hit Haymaker, and it goes really, really far. Next up, we got Tornado. The Wicked Witch of the Spikes. Get a spiker in your Tornado ten times again. No one likes the spikers. We all love using the spikes, but no one likes getting spiked upon so uh a tornado is a good defensive tool versus the spiker so i figured yeah let's throw him in the tornado 10 times you get a bronze trophy next one not in kansas anymore get all three opponents in your tornado at once so tornado is really good when the other three players are on defense and you just run through their crease and just swoop them all up uh, with the tornado leaving a wide open net for your teammates and this trophy would try and make players try and do that use the tornado to just screw up opponents not necessarily play the ball with the tornado because playing the ball with the tornado is not it's it, um, it's not the best case for the tornado power up it's better to just mess up opponents and one thing to note the tornado the winds and stuff does not affect your own teammates so you can still go after opponents that are near your teammates and swoop them away then the last one watch out for the cow score a tornado go now this is tough and at the same time, it's easy, like, if you just get, like, a quick tornado, like, you barely move the ball, and the, um, it goes in. But I would really like to see, like, an actual tornado go, but that wouldn't be uh, trackable. But it's very hard to control the ball with the tornado, but it is possible to whip the ball out of your tornado and get a pretty decent shot on. It's just extremely difficult, so that's why I threw it on as the gold trophy. Next up, we got the Grappling Hook. Free upgrade. Make 20 saves with the Grappling Hook. This is uh, like a lot like the Haymaker. Use your Grappling Hook. You want to use a, um, on the offensive side, but it's also really good on the defensive side when you can't get to the ball uh, for the save, so you have to use the Grapple Hook at the last second to make the save. Uh, so I would want to try and uh, promote saves with the Grappling Hook so it gets the bronze trophy. Next up, Airline Miles. Travel the length of a standard field in one grappling hook. Now, we've all been on long journeys with the grappling hook, and this one would be a super long journey. And this can be done either by a power hitter hitting the ball the opposite way, so you keep traveling, or if you got swapped halfway through, then you have to keep traveling some more. Sometimes, like, you can get these really long grapples that are hilarious, so it'd be great to have a trophy uh, with that. And then double the miles. Travel half the field and score with a grappling hook. This one's going to be tough because you have to try and time when the ball is going to be in a good spot for you to score while using the grapple. You might get a freebie by only traveling half the field, but I figured this one, you kind of have to time it out. And again, it's one of those epic rumble moments if you can get a really long grapple into a goal. So I figured let's throw the gold trophy on it. Next up, we got Power Hitter. May the 4th be with you. Touch the ball four times with one Power Hitter active. Power Hitter only lasts, I think it lasts like 10 seconds. I'm not positive. I didn't check. But it's really hard to hit the ball four times because you hit it so hard and so far away from you that it's hard to get those four touches. So I figured throw bronze on there. Like you might be able to pinch it against the wall or something and get a couple extra hits in there. Uh, this one might be tough to do for a bronze, but I figured... Try and promote an extra ball touches with the power hitter when you don't have a shot is always good. Next one I got back, 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 gone. Score 100, mile, 100 plus mile per hour goal from your side of the field with power hitter. So power hitter is really good as that third man on rotation when you're playing in the net. And when the ball is coming slowly at you, you turn on power hitter and just skyrocket that ball right into the opponent's net. That's one of its best uses. And so that's why I threw a silver trophy on that because... It feels really good to, sh to score a shot over 100 miles per hour from your own side of the field. Feels a lot like Sarp BC. So, <laughs> figured throw a trophy on there for there. Next up, we got the gold trophy, Demolition Man. Demolish all three opponents with one power hitter uh, active. Now, power hitter, it's called power hitter. So, they want you to hit the ball. But, it can also be used to uh, demolish the opposition by just touching them. They will blow up. So, I figured, why not try and get kill all three opponents with one active would be a good gold trophy to get. Next up, we got Disruptor. So this one is mostly about you getting uh, disrupted because it's not much to do by like disrupting others. So first one, thanks. Score 25 goals while disrupted. Now Disruptor, 
Um, if you didn't know, when you have zero boost, if you get disrupted, you automatically get 100 boost. And you have to boost for that five seconds uh, automatically. But then you also have 100 boost afterwards. So I figured, let's throw a thanks on there for giving me some boost uh, so I can get the goal. So score 24, 25 goals while disrupted. Next up is disrupt this. Demolish the player that disrupted you while it is active. So this one would be a fun one to do. It's just like a revenge on the player that disrupts you. He disrupts you. Uh, you have full boost, so you're going to be able to demo people pretty easily. You find him, you blow him up, you get a silver trophy. That'd be a cool moment in Rumble. And then the gold trophy. Wow. Score 10 aerials while disrupted. Now, this one would probably be pretty tough. Not going to lie, but that's why it's a gold trophy, and that's why it's only 10 aerial goals. Um... Sometimes that boost does help you and you'll have a chance to get those aerial goals, but you can't stop the boost So it's also really tough to line it up properly. So that's why it gets the gold trophy Next up we got plunger not clogged anymore score 25 goals with the plunger plunger is a very good goal scoring uh, Power up so I figured a bronze would work and 25 goals seems to make somewhat sense Somewhat of a sense. Well, the best way to score is really just driving to the other net and just plunge it in. It's not that difficult because, like, the plunger is really powerful. Uh, you just have to watch out for the ball's momentum in certain directions. Uh, but besides that, it's pretty simple to score with the plunger. Next, plunger greater than magnet. Score a goal with the plunger by yanking it through an opponent's magnetizer. Plunger is, like, a more powerful magnetizer, but it's a one-shot item. While the opponent's magnetizer, it lasts a little like 10 seconds or whatever it is uh or five seconds maybe um so this one is just trying to use the plunger to it uh to its best of its ability by plunging right through the magnetizer because you can whip that ball right through with the plunger and the magnet can't really do much it can curve it a little bit but not do a ton to it so that one gets the silver trophy uh, that's another like rumble type of moment play and then yoink can make 25 saves with the plunger these saves are always fun when the ball's just about to go in and you throw the plunger and it just comes out before it crosses the goal line plunger is probably more of an offensive tool but at first when you think about it it seems like it would be a defensive tool and with the gold trophy you'll be trying to make a lot of saves with the plunger and uh they're really really good moments when you make those saves next up we got the spike Ugh, the spike. Everyone loves it when they have it. Everyone hates it when other people have it. So, the trophy names are pretty... Pretty well suited for spikes. So, first one is GG Easy. Score 100 goals with the spikes. It's not hard to score goals with spikes. So, you're scoring 100 goals before you get the bronze trophy. You'll probably see the most goals scored by any power-up is definitely spike by far. Um, and yeah, so just score, just score 100 goals. Pretty simple. Next up, tilt mode. Do at least three corkscrews before scoring with the sky, uh, with the with the spikes. Uh, basically, just do as many rotations as possible. Do your crazy freestyles while you have the spike, and score the goal. Like that one's just more of like a rumble moment. Everyone loves doing it. Like you grab the spikes, you go for the aerial, and you just start spinning. You start whipping that car around, so it's really hard to save. And so that would be a good one to have for silver. And then gold wrecked. Win a 50-50 and score during the same spikes active. So this is one advantage to spikes that you guys might not know about. Is you can win every single 50-50 with spikes if you activate it right before you hit the ball. Because if you do that, you, you have about a half second of you win every contest and keep the ball on your car with spikes. So um, if you're going up for a 50-50 and you want to win it, turn on spikes just before you hit the ball. And the other guy will not hit the ball at all. Like, he'll hit off the ball. And then you can power through and go for the goal. So I figured to show an advantage to Spikes, we'll throw a gold trophy on it. So people understand, oh, that's possible. Next up, Freezer. You get a miss. And you get a miss. Make a million bajillion people miss the ball after you have frozen it. Everyone misses the ball when it's frozen. There's really no way to track this, but... I just wanted to point out that everyone misses the ball so much when the ball is frozen. And it's always a highlight when you see like four people miss the ball because of one freeze. So you get a bronze for making a bajillion people miss. You'll probably get that in about a day. Pretty simple. Next up, the wall. Make 25 saves immediately after freezing the ball. Now, I'm not sure if when you freeze the ball, it counts as a save immediately or you have to clear it out, or it just doesn't count as save as all. So, like, this one might be hard to track. But either way, make 25 saves uh, with the freezer. 
this one's very important on defense sometimes like if you freeze the ball just at the right moment you can spare that extra second for a defender to get back and clear it so that's where that would come in next up frozen rope score 10 goals immediately after freezing the ball so this one is really good offensively when you try and make a defender miss you freeze the ball when he's going for the normal hit and but you line yourself up for where you froze the ball and then take a free shot at it uh this, uh, this one's really strong, but it's hard to get right. So I figured, eh, score 10 goals, and you get a gold trophy. Next up, we got Swapper. You shouldn't have. Use your power-up to score immediately after the opponent swaps you. A lot of times, opponents will swap you for no reason. And then sometimes it'll actually put you in a good place to score. Plus, you have a power-up. So I figured, eh, you have about a second or two window to use your power-up right after you get swapped and score a goal. That's just one of those rumble moments again that would work really well here. Next up, Silver, where, uh, where did he come from? Make 10 saves within 2 seconds of being swapped. So sometimes they're on the offense and you need to get back quickly. You want to swap uh, versus one of their guys going for the shot. Make the save without them even seeing you. And that's all, uh, that's always a great moment as well um, in Rumble when you can pull those off. And uh, they're really hard to pull off though. Like Swappers are really hard to pull off correctly. So, I usually don't use them correctly. I just drive up to the ceiling and then swap with someone so they're out of play for five seconds. Uh, but there's other ways to use it. It's just really, really difficult. Next up, great positioning. Score 10 goals within two seconds after being swapped. So, you want to swap with someone and then score immediately. And this is, like, what swapper is all about. <laughs> Excuse me, sneezing. So, this is what, uh, like, Swapper's all about if you can pull it off. It's really hard to pull off, though. That's why I give it a two-second window, and it's only 10 goals. But that's for the gold trophy. Next up, we're done with the power-ups. Let's just talk about the mode in general. Button Masher. Use 20 power-ups in a game. So, you, you get power-ups every 10 seconds. And then some last, like, 5 to 10 seconds. So, you can't use them again right away. So, 20 power-ups would actually be really difficult to get in a game. Say everything took 20 seconds. You would, get 15, uh, you would get 15 in a game. So you might need some overtimes or you might need a lot of one uh, power-ups that don't use a duration. So this one would be fun to try and get. Just use it power-up after power-up after power-up. So that uh, gets the bronze one. And then, boo! Silver Trophy. Score 10 goals before power-ups are activated on a face-off. I always hate scoring goals before power-ups are even in play. But it happens all the time. So, score 10 of those goals before that 10-second window is up after the face-off, and you'll get a silver trophy. And then finally, the last trophy. I don't know why this trophy's not in the game yet, or achievement. Uh, Brazil. Win a Rumble game with a score of 7-1. to one. That deserves a gold trophy, if I've ever seen it before. And that's it, guys, for the trophies or achievements for Rumble mode. Um, if you like them, let me know in the comments. Um, if you think of even better ones, throw them down in the comments too. Like, this is uh, just for fun, and it would uh, be great to see what uh, type of ideas that uh, you guys come up with. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.